Madam Speaker, thank you very much for um, always um, the warm uh, words of welcome, uh, not only uh, from you, but this august uh, uh, building uh, and the administration. Uh, our great appreciation and thanks for the support that we have always been shown um, by uh, Congress, uh, by the American people. Uh, this is an opportunity to also thank um, um, America for the support uh, of uh, half a million uh, um, uh, vaccines to Jordan, which will help us in a fight of, uh, against COVID. And again, um, uh, your international role in, in, in helping us uh, all fight this pandemic. Uh, it's been a while since we've been in Washington. Uh, we're very delighted to be back here because uh, one thing we have learned in this year of, of a pandemic is that uh, um, we haven't been talking to each other in the same language and familiarity that uh, we should be. And uh, I'm here in Washington to engage um, with uh, the brotherly uh, relationship we have with this country on many of the regional issues and challenges that uh, we all agree on. Um, I am optimistic of the way the region is going. There seems to be a new spirit of um, cooperation and coordination between many of uh, my friends around the region. And so I come here to Washington uh, to see how we can uh, really turn 2021 into a positive year. I'm always grateful, thankful for the support of your wonderful country and all the hard work I know that we are going to be able to do together again. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. As Speaker of the House, it is my privilege to welcome His Majesty King Abdullah back to the Capitol once again. It's also an honor to welcome Her Majesty Queen Rania and uh, uh, the, the Crown Prince, Crown Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. The last trip that we actually uh, made as a Codell uh, was to Jordan before COVID, and that was our most recent in-person conversation with His Majesty, where we discussed regional security and stability, Middle East peace, issues that relate to economic growth and resiliency, as well as the gratitude that we all have uh, to His Majesty and Jordan for receiving so many refugees from Syria. America is grateful for this relationship. Uh, I take great pride in this because I worked with His Majesty King Hussein and, and King Abdullah II when he was the Crown Prince. So I know he brings a wealth of knowledge, intelligence, strategic thinking, and values uh, to these discussions. We always learn so much from him. We're so happy that he's with us in the Capitol today.